Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So the science section was very, very requested for my tease video. So I'm going to get into that. It is a lot of information. So don't be too stressed because I'm going to try to help you out as much as I can. First things first, I do want to say get this book because it is a lifesaver. It is the same maker that makes the tease test. And at the end of the book, they have practice questions that are very similar to your test. So I would say get the book, get familiar with it, get familiar with the way they ask questions and the way they word questions. Get the book. It's on Amazon. I'll link it down below. Um, so it does go over biology, chemistry, and anatomy. And it is 53 questions. But let me go ahead and jump into anatomy. First off, no all of your systems there's 11 systems know all of it from top to bottom know all the information you can know about it yeah you may think why do i need to know everything there's only 53 questions how much can i ask about it majority of your test is about anatomy so majority of your test will come from those questions from the organ system so definitely start off with the endocrine system because it is a lot it's the most overwhelming there's a lot of hormones in the endocrine system the rest of the systems i feel like they're not too bad but definitely the endocrine system is the most stressful i guess because when you first look at it it's like oh my gosh that's a lot of information but break it down study it you'll come up with ways to remember look up on videos on youtube how to remember endocrine system you can look up crash course videos i even looked up songs on how to help me but yes know all the hormones know all the functions to every organ system because they can ask you the most randomest questions and it is raining i'm sorry i didn't even think about that it's raining really hard and thundering so if you hear that and you're wondering what it is it's raining know all the organs know all the systems know all the hormones in it okay next know your body planes i think they ask about one or two questions but every single question helps you on that test body planes is like the transverse it's like where it's split in the middle split down the center make yourself familiar with the bones and muscles um i say make yourself familiar with because i don't think you should have to memorize it if you don't already know i don't think you should have to memorize like everything to a t only because there's maybe three to four questions on it so you could definitely use process of elimination if you aren't familiar with every single thing know the role and components of the brain they do have a couple of questions on the brain um i had maybe like two or three on my first test and then i think maybe like one or two on my other test um just letting y'all know if you don't already know, obviously majority of your questions are going to stem from anatomy. Well, mine did at least. I don't know if it will be the same for everybody else. Majority of my questions were anatomy. I would say my latest test, I did have a lot more biology questions with no anatomy terms. So distal, superior, superficial, proximal. Just get familiar with those because it might ask like what is proximal to blah, blah, blah. So just be familiar with with the wording of anatomy. Another thing kind of with the systems, remembering the skin layers. So I was taught, come let's get sunburn, it's C, L, G, S, B, and it's in the order of the skin layers. So that's actually a really easy way to remember it. Let's jump over to chemistry. I maybe had about six questions on chemistry. It wasn't too overwhelming, but I think because I was, I just took chemistry, so I was already familiar with everything. Know how to read a periodic table. I probably had about three questions on it. Basically, ask what's a proton, neutron, and electron. Just know what that is. Know how to find a proton, a neutron, and electron. So know that proton and electron are the same thing. Proton and electron is always the atomic number, which is going to be the top number where it shows in the periodic table. A neutron is just going to be the atomic mass, which is always the greatest number, subtracted from the atomic number, which is the top number. So neutron will be the only number that's different from the rest. Next for chemistry, know how to balance a chemical equation. If you don't know how to, it's kind of a lot to learn if you haven't already taken chemistry. So just get familiar with that. Um, if you haven't, I wouldn't stress out about it. It's not that many questions. 
I also got a couple questions on the state of matter for biology section. Y'all probably seen this if you've been researching the tests a lot. Mitosis and meiosis, know the stages, know what makes them different, and know what makes them similar. Know every stage, because they're all different. Know every part to a cell, a plant cell and animal cell. They will ask you that. I got a lot of questions, like parts of the cells. Know all their functions, know everything. So I will be dropping my notes in the description. And this paper helped me out a lot. This is for the cell structures and their functions. I just like wrote down different things that could help me remember. So if I saw a certain word on the test, I was like, oh yeah, that reminds me of this. So like I would think of like ribosomes and I can still remember this because I made myself remember it. Ribosome makes protein. And so whenever I would hear ribosome or I look at the word ribosome, I would see rib, protein, rib and protein or pull words and put them together and be like okay well i can remember this because of this and oh my god it's thundering so loud i really hope you cannot hear this in the video um it will ask you about like dna and rna get familiar with it um because it does ask you a couple questions on it so the way i got familiar with it is obviously the book it does break it down a lot if you're still not catching on to it look up crash course videos he is amazing he breaks down everything and he'll like kind of give you ways to remember it or like give you like real world scenarios that makes it really easy to remember now that i'm done rambling i want to give you all some tips that i wish i knew before i took my test so of course i would do like a little researching but i i wish i had like these type of videos so this is why i wanted to help y'all because i'm done with my test I find out if I get into nursing school this month, which I'm super excited about because I want to do like more nursing videos. And I'll also be doing a reading section video that was um, also very requested. I have a lot of tips for y'all, so be ready. Also, I hope y'all have been writing down some of this stuff and let me know if it helps y'all. I'll be linking my notes in the description. I scanned all of my notes and so tip number one, get this bad boy. She is so helpful. Okay, next. Number two, watch Crash Course. He is great. He is so helpful. He, watch him. That's it. If you don't understand something, he has a video on just about everything. He'll help you with chemistry, biology, anatomy, everything. Watch him and you'll understand, I promise. Watch Science with Susanna, but don't just watch it. You actually can print blank notes out and fill them out with her as you go along. I have these scanned in on like a Dropbox account so y'all can click the link below and look at all my notes. And these notes did ha help me pass the T's with an 80 so y'all use my notes, use them up as much as you can. That's what they're there for. Another thing is if you read a question and you straight up don't know it, nothing sounds familiar, you're like, what the heck? Flag it and come back. I say this in all my videos, flag it and come back because it does not help when you're staring at the question, skip it and come back because most likely when you come back to it, you'll maybe think of something to remember it. And if not, it's fine, just take a guess but like break down every single thing. And if you completely know that's on it, you can cross that out. So just use process of elimination. If you don't know, don't just, um, I'm gonna guess B. Use process of elimination. Like I was just saying, break down every answer choice. If you know this word and you know that this has nothing to do with this, cross that out because most likely that's not gonna be it. Which I wish I wouldn't have done this, which is why I'm telling y'all now. Don't study the day of the test. If you prepared for months before or weeks before, I don't know how long y'all are studying for, you will be fine. I promise getting your extra hour of studying will probably not do anything. It's honestly gonna freak you out more because before my test, I sat in my car for like an hour and I was looking at my notes and I was like brain fried because I was already studying like crazy before. And I was like, oh my God, I don't know this. Oh my gosh, I don't know this. And I was just like coming up with all these things that I didn't know. And I was so freaked out. I went in there with such a bad mindset. So don't study before the test because you will freak yourself out. If you see something you don't know, like 
you're gonna realize like I didn't study this and then you're gonna just get in your head and that's not a good place to be before your test you need to go in there positive go in there saying you're gonna pass you know you're gonna pass you're gonna kill it and you'll be good if you go in there with a positive mindset most likely you'll come out with positive results next is if you go on the ATI website they have practice tests I think they have three practice tests so I took one of the practice tests and it was so similar they definitely help because if you haven't taken the test you already know the way the format's gonna be you already know what order you're gonna be in and know you cannot pick what order it goes reading math science and English you cannot pick the order that you go in you automatically go in and start your reading so definitely take your practice ATI test it does cost like $50 I want to say but at the end of the day it's going to be worth it last which is the hardest thing as hard as it is go in there take deep breaths and just be positive about it don't go in there saying oh my god I know I'm gonna fail like I don't know this and this and this I can't remember this and this like just go in there with a positive mindset and you'll have good results that I think is all that I wanted to say I know this is kind of a long video and I hope it helps you all but I'm gonna link all my notes if you want to look at my these are my science with Susanna notes um, if y'all want to use those they're pretty helpful also I hand writ um, all my notes out from the ATIT's book so if y'all want to use that you can too um, I would still say get the book because I wrote down what I thought was important to me at the time of studying or stuff that I couldn't remember so just because this was the way I learned to study or this is the way that I was studying and it helps me it does not mean it will help you so so please still get the book and write your own notes down because everyone studies different I think that's it I really hope I didn't miss anything please comment down below if y'all want me to go over anything else anything else I missed from the other sections or just anything overall if y'all want me to talk about anything else thank y'all so much for being so supportive with, with these tease videos y'all can follow me on my instagram at caitlin sultania i'll link it right here y'all can ask me any questions if you don't understand anything or anything you can talk to me about anything about the test or nursing or anything i would love to talk and thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to subscribe i will be posting a lot more videos on the nursing stuff and yeah don't forget to follow my instagram at caitlin sultania and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank y'all. Peace out. Mm -hmm.